Brandon from Maglomaniac at New York Comic Con 2014. I am here with Frank Cho and Tom Snagoski, uh, who are working on <laughs> who are working on World of Pain, which will be uh, announced larger coming in November. I guess before we get started, can you guys talk to us about the new project? Uh, World of Pain. Uh, it's a uh, creator own project that Tom and I've been uh, quietly working on for the last. Uh, uh, basic idea was uh, sometimes when you read a novel, uh, some of the big action sequences you kind of want to see, right, it would be better told as a, as a sequential uh, comic book format. So that's exactly what we're doing. Some of the big action sequences uh, we're yeah, telling it in a comic book format so that the prose novel will basically seamlessly blend into the action and then blend right back out. So, Sounds really cool. That actually it makes me think immediately when you say blending a novel with, with comic books or with the graphic novel, it made me think of Gil Kane's Black Mold. But sort of like a next step evolution from that. Actually, that's a good point. I forgot right. 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 about Black Mold. Okay. Yeah. So we'll, we'll have a lot of really pretty girls in like Gil Kane's uh, <laughs> Black Mold. No, not to, not to compare styles or anything, but just to say, you know, when you have the words on the page and it sort of blends, but it seems like this is almost more of a, a step forward where you have lots of prose and then all of a sudden, hey, I'm in a comic book, and then it flows right back into prose. Yeah. Yeah. No, that sounds real actually to be like single illustrations that might slowly take you into the... Yeah, like, like a stepping stone into a big, you know, visual world and then come right back out. Developing something like that, like, do you move from writing more of a prose manuscript to sort of scripting out? Yeah, I, I wrote the development. I wrote the whole development based on Frank's face eyes and where I am and all my two cents to it. And then what we did was we kind of took that and broke it down into sections and all right, what would we want to see visually? What are the strongest visual aspects of it? What do you want to draw? And uh, then I took the, a lot of those sections and broke them down into comic book scripts. So, and yeah, because Tom uh, has a background in comic book writing, too. He used to, uh, uh, he was a writer for Vampirella oh, back in the day. Yeah, Vampirella. Oh. Vampirella, I wrote Buffy for Dark Horse, who does some Hellboy stuff with Mignola. remiss in not remembering your name because I've definitely read those works before. Well, I came and pronounced his name. I mean, I've known this guy. I call him up and he doesn't know. Right. So who are you again? Oh yeah, what's his? Right, right. I don't want to buy any meat. Nancy. <laughs> um, so, are the illustrations black and white or is it going to be full color? Uh, actually, both. Yeah, it's going to both. Yeah. Uh, so basically, I'm going to play around with it. Tom and I are going to play around with what works and what doesn't work. You know? Because 
it is uh, technically a kind of a supernatural uh, horror yeah. kind of genre. So black and white goes well with it. But no, but, so we're, we're going to play around. It's definitely going to be in color, but some of the accent pieces will be in black and white. That's what I'm thinking. What kind of research goes into building a supernatural kind of thing? A lot of scotch. A lot of scotch. Actually, that's like my novel. I write novels too. All my novels are pretty much horror based. They've got a horror element to it. So when Frank said, I got this kind of horror idea, yeah, and it was like perfect. Absolutely. Right up my alley. So, I mean, just building that kind of dark universe wasn't all that difficult. I mean, you seem like a perfectly nice guy, so I'm just, you know, not. just he's to know that there's this dark, brooding universe inside of you. Well, yeah. He's a, he's a. <laughs> no, Tom's a great guy. So, you guys are going through Kickstarter and you're also going through a traditional uh, press? Yeah, we're going to basically go through a flash publication uh, for this novel, and then it's going to, and then we're going to kind of jump, jump, uh, flash publication, and, uh, we're gonna basically kickstart it. We're gonna make this high-end book, and then from there we're gonna look for a uh, more permanent. Yeah, we want to do a lot of these books. Okay, so, so this is gonna be the spring for to show people this is what this series is. Yeah, so we're gonna look for a more. Uh, uh, yeah. Have, I mean, have you considered starting your own imprint and then branching out from there? Yeah. That's too much. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. I mean, we like the creative aspect of it, so right. some of it can be. years working on Wolverine, right. and now they're sort of knocking them off. So, 
did that news, well, for now, but did that news sort of come as a surprise? That, was it, were you involved in any of the conversations coming towards the death of Wolverine event or anything like that? Or did they just like, oh, by the way, you're putting something because uh, we're killing this guy? He's dying. Oh. Additionally, also right. confusing and uh, embarrassing. You know, like, even though I posted the video online on YouTube, and I said, you know, here's where I make a really stupid mistake, and I left it in there. But I wanted, now that you're here and I'm here, I wanted to take a moment to apologize to you because I still so don't do a Howard the Duck. I know, and you didn't do it in the first place, right, exactly. and it was fucked up for me to thought to think right. you did. So, but with that in mind, who are your pet uh, characters that you like to work in the things, if any? You went and did the work. So. Do you have any like pet characters? Like, you know, I really like this one. Even you know, you're on the side, you're sitting by yourself, you got nothing to do. Maybe you're doodling them just for fun. Or is there anybody that really is sort of stuck in your pen, for lack of a better term? Naked ladies. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, that's I, a good I, one. Uh, that's his thing. That's, that's my that's my wheelhouse. Sometimes. I do naked ladies all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Listen. No no finer inspiration in nature. And dinosaurs and monkeys. I draw a lot of monkeys for so, fun. Listen, you sound like a man's man if ever I heard one. <laughs> Alright, thank you so much for meeting with me. I wish you guys the best of luck on the new project. Thank you. And I'm going to put this up and I can tweet it at you. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Fantastic. Alright. Thank you so much. Thank I'll you. come next year and I won't have so much weight on me. Alright.